Imagine a busy market where everyone is yelling about their accomplishments, but no one notices yours. In her book, Nobody Cares About Your Career, Erica Ayers Badan describes this career landscape. Her frank but motivating message is that your work is your responsibility, and no one cares more about it than you. By creating value, accepting change, and learning from mistakes, you can change your career. Imagine sitting at your desk, stuck in your profession, waiting for a solution. You may have waited for your manager to recognize your efforts or for HR to give the right training. These scenarios often cause disappointment and impotence. Imagine initiating instead. Find methods to add value instead of waiting for others to create chances. You streamline department processes without permission when you detect inefficiencies. This transition from self-focus to value creation is revolutionary. What you can accomplish now matters more than what others can do. Junior employees were disappointed by the absence of networking opportunities at their workplace. Instead of moaning, she acted. In her monthly lunch series, colleagues from different departments shared ideas. This made her a proactive leader and added value to the company. Remember, you know yourself best. Nobody knows your strengths, limitations, and goals better than you. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Don't wait on others to fix your job dissatisfaction. Assess your talents, identify improvements, and act. Accepting and learning from mistakes is also important. When you fail, don't blame others. Own, correct, and learn from it. You become indispensable by shifting from expecting to get value to actively creating it. Your influence determines your worth, not your job title or others' approval. This approach helps your company and your career. You drive. Your biggest strength is your unique skills, experiences, and perspectives. Add value, solve problems, and make a difference. Your originality is your greatest value in a conformist world. Break from the existing quo and plan your future. Picture yourself at a crossroads. One road leads to a steady position at a big company. The other creates an iffy but promising startup. The safe choice may be tempting, but disturbance fosters progress. Fresh graduate, Sarah joined a modest tech startup instead of a prestigious firm. Startup life was chaotic, with long hours and shifting priorities. But Sarah discovered great opportunities in the tumult. She donned many hats, mastered many talents, and had direct contact to company leaders. Within a year, she had more experience than many larger company employees. Embracing disruption doesn't require startup membership. It requires adaptability and challenge. In large companies, innovate within your function. Volunteer for cross-functional teams. Propose new projects or identify inefficiencies. While advice is valuable, you know your goals and abilities best. Trust your gut and pursue your passion. Career guidance requires a personal vision. Not a life plan, but a North Star to stay focused and motivated. Your vision need not be great. You could become the go-to expert or create a solution that answers an issue. You must find meaning and purpose in it. Mid-level manager Mark felt stuck. He realized he loved mentoring after reflecting on what mattered to him. He imagined being a leadership coach. He chose projects and learned skills based on this idea. Even when things went wrong, his vision kept him going. Your vision changes as you learn and grow. Career challenges are inevitable. Response to problems defines you, not challenges themselves. Your growth depends on accepting failure as a learning opportunity. Picture this. Your team rejects your creative concept after skepticism. Your first reaction may be discouragement. What if you saw this as a learning experience rather than a failure? Marketing specialist Alex presented a big new campaign that failed. Instead of fleeing, he sought input from colleagues, analyzed the pitch's failures, and refined the proposal. Three months later, his reworked version was authorized and became one of the company's most successful advertisements. We learn from failure. Stop believing in perfection. Unrealistic standards discourage risk-taking. Instead, repeat, if I can lose, I can win. If I can't lose, I'll never win. Failure takes many forms. Small everyday setbacks or significant project failures may occur. They should motivate you to wonder, what could I have done differently? Or how can I improve next time? Talking about your mistakes shows maturity and intellectual honesty. It shows your learning, assessment, and adaptation skills. Tech entrepreneur Jamie revealed his first failing venture at an industry convention. This honesty gained him respect from peers and investors, opening new doors. If you haven't failed, you haven't tried hard enough. You have not pushed yourself or reached your potential. Make failure reflection a habit. Post setback. Analyze what went wrong without judgment. Thank yourself for trying, but admit where you can improve. 
This habit will help you become resilient and use failures to succeed. Rethinking failure as part of your career journey will make you more resilient, adaptive, and successful. Being great at work doesn't mean knowing everything or never making mistakes. Navigating the workplace, overcoming obstacles, and developing are key. Imagine beginning at a fast-paced software startup. The workplace is lively and expectations high. Your behavior and response to situations will determine your success here, not just your technical ability. One of your first initiatives involves cross-departmental collaboration. You rapidly learn that common sense and being easy to work with are key to success. You communicate well, meet deadlines, and help coworkers. This simple method boosts company reputation. You face a problem after weeks. Team tensions develop when a project you lead encounters unanticipated obstacles. Your capacity to respond rather than react is key. You calmly examine the situation and work with your team to identify answers instead of reacting or blaming. Your calm reaction solves the problem and gets you respect. As you develop in your career, Ambiguous moments arise where the proper action is unclear. You have a project. You can choose to play it safe and have modest outcomes or take a riskier strategy for bigger benefits. Careful consideration and decision-making without all the information are needed. Workplace greatness is ongoing. You do well some days and struggle others. Your abilities and approach are improved by actively seeking feedback and reflecting on your experiences. This strategy helps you flourish throughout your career. Change is inevitable. Your new boss may have different expectations, or your industry may be changing quickly. Instead of opposing change, use it to grow. Marketing expert Salwa found her department merging with sales. She used this to improve her skills instead of panicking. She learned sales methods and applied her marketing skills by volunteering for cross-functional projects. Her proactive approach helped her manage change and made her a useful team member in the new organization. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more motivational lessons.